Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, it's been a bit of a roller coaster of a day. We started off with some heavy rain, some thunderstorms, even a severe thunderstorm rolled through the area, some lightning damage across the region, but we're ending it on a much quieter note. We saw a lovely sunset with some extra color out there, and it's going to be a pretty quiet night ahead. If we take a look outside right now, you can see still partly or mostly cloudy out there. Here's that live look over Newport. You can see that a little bit of color off on the horizon, but really just a nice quiet end to your evening. Live look out over New Bedford, same condition. Still mostly cloudy out there. We're going to see a couple more clouds start to build in overnight tonight as we see extra moisture lingering overhead. But the good news is the rain chances and the chances for thunderstorms that is pretty much done and over with. We were a lot cooler this afternoon. The area kind of struggled to get back up into the 70s and we're starting to cool down right now. We're down to 64 degrees for Smithfield Providence down to 72 degrees 69 for Newport Westerly sitting at 70 degrees right now 69 a little bit further off to the east for Taunton and New Bedford. Now the good news is those temperatures really not going to drop too much overnight due to that cloud coverage hanging out overhead. So what are we tracking for our three key things? Well, there's still a chance for a couple of light showers overnight tonight and for tomorrow afternoon, but not really too much in the way of heavy rain and the thunderstorm chances. Those are done and over with for the next couple of days. We're going to really start to see those conditions improve this weekend. More sunshine on the way and we do start to heat up as well. And for next week we are tracking an absolutely beautiful start to the week with lots of sunshine some high pressure moving in, sticking around all the way through the halfway point of the week. But check out that satellite and radar. We're still dealing with some of that cloud coverage. We saw a cold front move through earlier this morning. And that has moved down to the south further off the coast. Now it's not going to continue to, to track any further to the south. And what that means for us is we're still going to be dealing with that cloud coverage hanging out overhead, but the rain chances they will stay further off and away from our region. We're dealing with a, a potentially tropical system, tropical depression sitting just off the coast of uh, the Carolinas right now. Just an area of unorganized thunderstorms and general low pressure, but it is going to start to track to the north and start to impact our weather as we look forward to this weekend. Now the good news is all of the model guidance has this making that track up to the north and then eventually making that turn back off to the east. So by tomorrow afternoon, it's still sitting further to the south, helping to kind of increase that cloud coverage for tomorrow. Still some sun, some sunshine in there, but as we head towards the overnight hours and into Saturday, that's when it starts to make that turn further off to the east, which means we'll still be dealing with a little bit of some extra moisture and we'll see some pretty rough surf for the weekend. But as far as direct impacts, as far as rain or anything like that, we seem to be in the clear. If we check out a little bit closer to home, that hour by hour forecast overnight tonight, dealing with mostly cloudy skies, those temperatures in the upper 60s to start off. Tomorrow morning, we're really only down into the mid 60s, dealing with some pretty dense cloud coverage and uh, some fog out there. Chance for some showers in the afternoon, but really just a quick drizzle, not too much in the way of thunderstorms or anything like that. And then as we head forward to overnight into Saturday, we really start to clear out and we'll be seeing a great day on the way. So for tomorrow morning, small chance for some showers out there. You're in the uh, low 70s as you head through the afternoon, you start to warm up into the mid 70s, so slightly warmer for tomorrow afternoon. Some clouds hanging out, but a little bit some more sunshine. And again, those rain chances are already a lot lower for tomorrow. As we look forward to the weekend, lots of sunshine on the way and next week. Check that out back up into the 80s with lots of sunshine on the way. So just make it through the rest of tonight and we're going to be seeing better conditions as early as tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, summer's still hanging on. All just right, barely. Brittany, thanks. Coming